What's up guys? So I'll just show you guys what I did using Taylor Cut's LUTs to get these colors for this video because it's not quite as easy as just applying the LUTs. So I'll show you guys what I did to try to get these colors. So if we go to comparison view, we've got our shot and some of Taylor's shots here. And as you can see, we've got those really nice teal blues and they're in the shadows and then a lot of warmth over in the highlights. And that's what we've got over in our shot. So here's before any editing and after. I'll just show you what I've done. So brought the whites up a lot and the highlights down. I was just really trying to enhance the sunset look. Had to add in a lot of contrast because it was shot flat. And if we come down to creative, I added some blue into the shadows because it, it was looking too green so added quite a bit of that quite a bit of vibrance and i actually brought up the intensity of a lot because i was shooting into the sun and i thought the shot lost a lot of color if we go to color wheels a bit into the highlights and mid-tones i added some blue as well because it was sort of just looking way too warm. So yeah, now we get those nice blues in the shadows and then the nice warmth in the highlights and that's what we get. So there's, there's just the LUT applied. We turn off all of them. It's just the LUT. And yeah, I'm using his creative um, now I'm using his vintage LUT. So if I could show you some other ones, come back, go across. You can see in this shot, the teals are just really popping. So I'll just quickly show you guys this one. Those teals really pop out. If we come over to this shot, I'll go into this one. Let's go into it. And here we have our shot and one of his shots. So you can see if I just turn it on and off. Getting those really nice, those blues are going a bit teal again. And these yellows are going more orange. The greens have a lot more warmth to them. And yeah, there's a bit more warmth in the uh, shadows I think there. So I'll just show you what I did. I added in a whole lot of contrast, blacks, went down, I thought it was looking a little green, so I added in some purple just to get a tiny more of a red tint uh, in the creative, I added some blues into the shadows again, just because it looks a little too warm sometimes, brought up the vibrance, and... Um, and coming down to curves I brought down the shadows a bit just trying to enhance that sunset look so as you can see it just looks a little flat but once I bring down the shadows it's going really slow it yeah looks much nicer so is that before after here's um take away what we corrected that's just the LUT and then if we just turn off the LUT that's the original colors graded or exposed properly so yeah, you get those really nice teal blues going in and those yellows are getting even warmer. And yeah, let's go on to the next shot. If we come to, I think it's this one. So here's our one. Here's the before. And over here you can see that 
the shadows are really warm. The mid-tones are really warm. Those yellows are almost looking orange. So we've got some yellows over here as well. If we just turn it on, they go much more warmer. And same with their skin there. So what I did with this one, just contrast, shadows down. Uh, yeah, self-explanatory there, I think. And the creative, bit of fade, faded film in there. Um, vibrance, put up vibrance. Some blue in the shadows again, just because it looks, it just looks too warm. So that balances it out. Come down to curves. Didn't do anything there. But secondary, I did quite a bit. What I did is I selected her skin and those mid-tones, especially the skin. Because if I turn this off, she was just looking too green. So I selected her, pushed some red into the skin tones. And then just brought down the exposure of the skin tones. And then down here, I dropped the uh, contrast because it gives the appearance of uh, soft light if you take out the contrast. And then just tried to tweak, tweak it to a nicer skin tone using the warmth and tint. Okay. See, there's that before and after. There's, if we get rid of the creative, there's without the LUT, with the LUT. And then that's grading as well, or ex correcting exposure, basic control. And then adjusting the skins, selecting and adjusting the skin. So yeah, there's warm, pretty warm shadows in this one. And then, yeah, you get those nice teal blues in there as, as well. Same as the last shots. We come back. Let's go to another one. Try. Let's go with this one. So over here, I have one, one of his shots. And you can see that we've got a lot of blue in the shadows. Just trying to freeze it there. So this is one of his shots. You can see those just really nice teal blues and that moody look. So our shot before and after. You can see how it gets much cooler. You could even you could even put in more for this shot, bring down the temperature. If I was, if I was trying to match it up to his shot, something like that. So I didn't do too much else at all, really. Um, touch of faded film, intensity intensity brought down. Curves, yeah, not too much. Oh, I put a lot of more blue into the shadows because, um, yeah, th they were coming across too warm all the time. So I put those blues in there. Come back up. And yeah, let's try another one. Okay, so I really like this one. Let's go into that. And here we have, I think it was an Australian film. Just really warm, but yet a lot of shadows and just a really crazy, sun, really crazy sunset colors here. So I'll show you. Go about there. I'll show you what I did. Here's before and after. So obviously got his vintage light on. Uh, I brought the shadows down a bit. It just gives that real nice gradual roll off to the exposure. And I think that helps the sun sunset. 
uh, look. Um, so yeah, just really brought up those whites, highlights, exposure down a bit. I warmed it up a little, maybe didn't need it. Um, color wheels didn't do. I put a bl bit more blue again into the shadows. So there it just looks a bit too warm. Put a bit of blue in there. And yeah, yeah, I really like those colors. Really awesome. Let's go back. I think there's one more. Let's go into this one. Here's one of his shots. So you get that it's almost a slight green it's like a teal a teal that is almost green and the skin tones even go a little in that direction but i really like it and you still get those warm highlights and then those shadows they don't get too cool that yeah i just really like these colors um there's before after could look a tad green. If you think it's looking a bit too green, you can just shift a tiny bit of purple in there. And that will get rid of that green tint. And then again, I've put in a good amount of blue into the shadows and even into the highlights there, I think. Might take a bit of that out. Um, curves I just wanted to bring out the highlights there a bit so if I get rid of that just looks a little too flat just made it pop a little because so, I'd already brought up the whites a lot up there so I thought I'd do the rest with the curves um, otherwise, nothing else, I don't think. Yeah. I think that's it, guys. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Comment down below what you guys thought, what you guys want to see, what will be most helpful for you guys. And, yeah, let me know. Leave a like. And check out the presets if you guys like these tutorials i'll be coming out with my own lot soon so keep an eye out for those i'll be doing a lot of orange and teal and yeah let me know what you thought oh thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers